Greetings everyone, this is Spindash, and welcome back to another episode of my Metro 2033 Redux playthrough on the Survival Ranger Hardcore difficulty. I will aim for all nodes and gain most moral points to aim for the good ending. In today's episode, I'll be playing through the level named Defense, so without further delay, let's continue our journey into Metro. So after our last episode, which was a while ago, because I went on a sort of hiatus there, Pavel got killed trying to save us through the minecart as we got through the trolley combat and depot. But we still got breach out the Ullman at Black Station, so let's continue on our journey to get there. Mind if I do? Друзья, мы должны продержаться еще несколько минут. Не буду врать. Это будет трудный бой. Но подумайте о ваших семьях, которые остались на станции. Каждый монстр, который прорвется через линию нашей обороны, попадет прямо туда. Туда, где ваши жены и дети. И он их не пощадит. Мы не имеем права проиграть этот бой. Чувствуешь? Это еще что за хрень? Спокойно, без паники. facing is a Nisalis attack, so be ready. Appears to be playing defensive, just like the tile stage.
That was a fight that lasted longer than I thought. Dear Lord. Looks like we're the last one alive. Jeez Louise. Слишком много мутантов прорвалось через нашу оборону. Нужно предупредить полис. Но я больше не боец, как видишь. Слушай, парень, ты должен найти нашу радиостанцию, установить связь с полисом и поставить запись с сообщением об опасности. Вот она. Я готовился к этому. Удачи, братишка. Just like that, we got our first more point to stage. Got a captain giving us the tape, which we're gonna have to broadcast soon. In the next stage, that is. So. First things first, our first note is on top of the captain's quarters right here. Yeah. This is a pretty bleak feature. It's like the, uh, the solace is raided. It's like. They've all suffered, they all died. It's unfortunate what had happened there. Somehow we're still alive and that's what matters. So this is going to be my least favorite part of the video right here. Or the playthrough I should say. And that is to get through this next session. And you'll see why really quickly. One enemy that we have not encountered in a long time since Lost Tunnels. If I remember correctly. Oh. And it's those darn pesky... Those pesky lurkers. They'll pop it out of nowhere and they'll bite you in the butt. And high speed see, There they are. You thought, son. <sighs> that is why they're so dang annoying. Hey, well, let's move up a little bit. Now, yeah, there'll just be this lone Nassalus. Okay, sometimes I'll be in Nassalus on the side. Wait. Yeah, I was wondering where you were, because usually there'll be one on the side there, and that'd be the only one you'll encounter since the uh, defensive stench you took while there. Yeah. So what better way to start the stage defense by holding a defensive line? Bit of irony if you ask me. Okay, just taking a look. Nothing here. Alright. So my strategy for dealing well for going here up here. There's a trip wire here. Grab the ammo. Cut off the trap. Let's see. And I'm gonna do a hit and run here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother wasting my ammo on those lurkers. So what I'm gonna do is grab the ammo in the room across. Oh shoot! I'm just gonna wing it, or I could probably. I'll just swap to the AK. I feel comfortable using this better. Yeah, you could use this as a vantage point to bait some lures from coming in. I get real paranoid dealing with those suckers. They're that annoying. Well, I saw a little bugger. Okay. Oh. Every time. Every time. Just gonna make it run, run for it. And they, they're not going to go in here. They, they will not go in here, no matter how hard you try. So let me just get this med kit real quick. Screw those guys. All right, our first, our key, our first key of defense is over to the left here. And there's a bunch of open safes, which we won't use the key. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, you can open the fences in here. Not much stuff to look by except for this one where you have the assault ammo, the assault rifle ammo, and the shotgun ammunition. Which we're gonna need, but we're not gonna use it 
Been a whole lot. So we're gonna speed through this. Alright. For this next session, we're gonna put the gas mask on since this is a. This place is filled with the brim of smoke. And. Can't breathe in there. So, here, this is where we open our safe to grab some stuff. Well, here, we have a pneumatic weapon. Which we're not gonna need. We're gonna hold on to our AK. And strategy for this one. Oh shit. Again, what is up with me and my all my deaths have been due to my own stupidity. It's strange, isn't it? Okay, try not to fall in the hole like like I did there. So, as I was saying, we're just gonna speed- we're just gonna speed right through here. We're not spending any more time with these lurkers. And we're gonna go over here, because we can get some stuff. I- Here you should be getting a moral point for discovering a corpse, but... For whatever reason, it has not activated. I mean, I, I did a test play of this, and I got one, but... Seems like it didn't want to activate. But, anyway, let's continue on. Sometimes there'll be a lurker that'll... I was just gonna say, there'll be a lurker that'll run through that train and run into the tripwire trap, and it'll happen. You're not supposed to be up there. Neither are you. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Jesus. Anyway, our second note will be over here on top of this dead guy on the train. Literal swamp of human blood. It's like, oh yeah, this is a lot of people heckin' died here. Oh yeah, the children. This just makes the world of Metro even more terrifying. Okay, so you see that arrow? We're just gonna book it. Anywhere but here is all I have to say to this. I'm gonna go over here real quick and get this. Oh, you guys. Fuck off. Он умер, да? Умер? Как я теперь пойду домой? Ты отведешь меня? Я тебя не знаю. Но если я останусь тут, меня съедят. У тебя есть автомат? Ну ладно, тогда я с тобой пойду. Так и быть. А ты будешь из него стрелять по монстрам? Ладно, меня зовут Саша, а давай ты будешь стрелять, а я буду смотреть, чтоб сзади не напал. Ну как же я оставлю тут дядю? Я к нему в гости пришел. Он меня хотел домой отвезти. Но монстры напали. Они на него как напрыгнут. Он стал стрелять. Yeah, this is like I, I, I was about to say something. Okay. Yeah, this is the second part of defense. We have to escort Sasha, this little kid here. This is the second part, but thankfully, this doesn't take too long once we speed through it. But as regards to the note, this is where the third note is. It's right by that corpse. He's speaking very calmly, rationally. For a kid that's just witnessed his uncle die in front of him graphically, I would say. Но мой дядя очень сильный. Он его ножом убил. Ты не такой сильный, как дядя. Придется тебе помогать, а то нас всех съедят. We'll see about that, little one. I'll take the gas mask off since we got through the fire zone. All right, same strategy as always. 
well, first. Oh yeah, you can't sprint for the first half, so I'll just play this little song and dance of hop hugging the edge here. The wall, I should say. Avoiding the holes, not like the first death in this stage. And so far, they have left us alone. Grab the shells. Uh, that never gets terrifying. So, that never not scares me. But be weary of this trap. You won't see it due to this corpse at first, but you gotta have a keen eye for that. Oh boy, it's hog season. Yeah, the kid will point out to get you some ammunition with AR and shotgun munitions. Okay, now we can sprint. There's more shotgun shells over there. Alright, I'm gonna perform the same strat as last time. We are speeding through this mother ducker. Now I'm gonna hold it. Gonna hold a line here for a great reason. You could use this area as a choke point if they start coming through, but it doesn't look like they'll be showing up anytime soon. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I jinxed it. Anyways, our second safe is over here, but we need to grab the key first. Damn, those guys are annoying. Grab the ammo and the key from the dead guy on the corner in that sewer. I bet that smells nice. Open up the safe. Grab the loot and we're getting out of here. I'll just hop over the traps like a pro. Ammunition. It most certainly is. Alright, so we just gotta climb the ramp. Just gotta be... Watch your balance, watch your step. Move these barrels out of the way. Don't worry, RTM's got a great balancing act. Mama! Mamachka! Это моя мама! Пойдем, она меня ищет! Отпусти! Пусти меня к ней! Саша! Сашенька! Живу! Саша, здоровы? А где дядя? Так как ты сюда попал? Дядя умер, мам. Меня этот человек принес на плечах. Я ему помогал монстров убивать. Мам, я небо видел. Спасибо, брат. Ты даже не представляешь, как много значит этот мальчишка. Без его отца нам бы не прожить. Если бы он потерял сына... Его бы это убило. И нас всех заодно. Спасибо. Damn. We really made it through with the... Saving the kid there. 
Господи, бедный Сережа, спасибо вам. Спасибо, вы, вы у моего сыночка спасли. Мне вам не, нечем отплатить. Возьмите хоть патроны. I appreciate the offer, ma'am, but I'll do just fine. Yes, you get a moral point to decline or offer. Ладно, пошли. Черная станция не так далеко отсюда. Беда в том, что туннель этот ведет не в ту сторону, так что идти тебе придется поверху. Осторожнее. У нас тут объявились новые монстры. Фашистами называются. Они устроили себе укреппозицию в разрушенном здании прямо у выхода на поверхность. На площади есть подземный переход. Оттуда можно попасть на черную станцию. Ребята выпустят тебя наверх. Удачи тебе, охотник. Ай, ай, сэр. Our fourth and final note of defense will be right here on this trolley, so can't miss it. Yeah. But basically it's RTM writing about the choice of making that decision, and it doesn't matter if you paid or to accept the offer or not, you're gonna get the same journey. So Let's continue on. We gotta get to Black Station ASAP. Well, let's make sure we got our ammunition in check. Okay, shotgun, ammunition. Okay, at least I'll get a couple of that. Doing good at AR. I'm gonna need this later on. I really don't need the bolts, I really don't. Okay, but I'm gonna have to modify my weapon. Спец предложения, скидки, лучшие пушки от лучших мастеров. Take the laser. And the flex. I can go with that. I'm gonna have to go stealth on one of these next episodes anyway, so... And there's a T-guard. There's a weapon I can swap out the AK for, so... Anyways, let's continue on. Проходите. We set off to the outpost. Я снова поднимался наверх в холодное и липкие объятия мертвой Москвы. У выхода из метро меня ждала фашистская засада, но я должен был выполнить последнее задание умирающего командира и послать сигнал в полис. And that was defense. Again, it's a pretty short stage. Most of the uh, most of the levels in the midway point past front line are pretty short. I mean, trolley combat's short. It's a pain in the butt. D Depot is not. It's just as short. And defense is again short as it could be. A lot shorter than I remembered. That's for sure. But yeah, the main enemy of this stage is all those lurkers, which. If you opted for the speedrun strat I went for through, it's like just avoid them as much as possible. Don't bother wasting your ammunition on those little buggers there. They'll just tear away your health. They're so fast. They're annoying. They just get in the way of everything. So just don't bother. Just get out of there. Of course, the other second half where you have to pick up Sasha, the little kid. You're at the first, for whatever reason, the first part, you just completely cannot sprint at all when you have to get past the first wave of lurkers, which thankfully wasn't too bad. Then it's all fun and games by the second half when you get to where the second safe is. 
but once you get past all those lurkers it's all you just gotta do is climb all the way up to the sky which is pretty neat spe spectacle if you look up and of course take the child back to his mother and just don't fall off and that's just pretty much it for defense so next episode we'll be going to outpost which is we face a new set of creatures the Reich just like in Frontline but this time it's infested with all of them so just like always I'll see you in the next video see ya